you guys, my name is Drew Alexandra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making one of my recipes. So if you can tell from my voice, I am once again the most sick that ever existed. I thought it would be lovely and comforting and wonderful to have a bowl of homemade tomato soup. So this is um, a recipe that I've kind of created by mixing like four different recipes online. Um, I didn't know that you could make tomato soup and have it be as delicious and even better than like the gourmet stuff that you get in a can um, because I grew up on this stuff in a can. Like, I don't know. I just like never had it any other way. So I've been really digging this soup lately. Um, so we are going to be making that. For this recipe, you are going to be needing six medium sized tomatoes, one fairly large onion, one can of diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, a teaspoon of thyme, a pinch or two of salt, some spray oil or olive oil, depending on how much oil you want to use, about four cloves of garlic, depending on how garlicky you like your food, coconut milk, vegetable broth. Um, I'm using better than bouillon and I'm gonna be mixing it with about two to three cups of water. And last but not least, <laughs> everything's a mess. Last but not least, pepper to taste. To start this uh, process, I started it about an hour ago um, and that was because um, I want to preserve my daylight today. So I've already prepped the first half of this recipe. So what I did was I took the um, six medium sized tomatoes and I cut them into wedges, making sure to remove the cores. Um, and I then put them onto a baking sheet and uh, sprayed them with some oil. You can drizzle olive oil, but I find that I tend to use too much when I do that, so I just gave it a quick spray. Then I put um, salt and pepper to taste. I did the same thing with our onion. I cut it into wedges and I put it in a pan with some oil, salt, and pepper, and I popped those two things in the oven um, on about 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. Um, and so here we are right now and we're gonna pull them out of the oven and take a look. So the goal is so that they are all shriveled up and um, caramelized and full of flavor. So these guys are looking like they're probably very sweet um, and uh, basically perfect. They look perfect, so do that. My onions got a little uh, overdone. Um, I have them in a separate pan today. Normally I put them all in the same pan, but I didn't and I probably should have, but that's okay. Like they're still like caramelized and delicious. So we're gonna roll with it. This next part, we are going to be using a pot, a nice big pot. Um, we are going to start by adding some olive oil or some butter, up to you, um, or even some water if you don't wanna use oil, that's totally okay. Um, and we're going to chop up our garlic and put it in the pot. what size you're gonna cut the garlic because we're gonna put it all into a blender afterward anyway. That was about like, I wanna say like a quarter teaspoon of olive oil. Now we're gonna add our garlic. Next we're gonna add our roasted tomatoes and our roasted onions to the garlic and mix that all together. for a minute and then we're going to add our um, diced tomatoes but we're going to reserve the liquid that's in it for now because we don't want our soup to come out um, too thin so we're going to um, kind of drain the diced tomatoes hold on to the liquid just in case you need to thin out your soup later um, but for now we're just going to add the tomatoes on their own of salt but don't use all the time that you would use in the whole recipe because we're gonna add a little bit later after we've blended it all together just because I think it looks prettier that way and just in case you don't want to add too too much because I know that thyme and like oregano and like herbs like that can sometimes give people heartburn if they're paired with something acidic so add a pinch of thyme and also don't add too much salt because um, your broth, if it is salted already, that might um, make it too salty. So just add a little bit of salt. Again, you just kind of want to kind of get a base flavor going right now. You're going to add everything in, and then at the end, you have plenty of opportunity to season it how you would prefer. So after those 
have been cooking a little bit, just probably about, mm, I'm gonna say like two minutes together, um, we are going to add our uh, broth. And we're gonna let that simmer for about two minutes there once again. We're then gonna add half a can of coconut milk. We can then add some more later if you decide that you want yours a little bit more creamy. But for now, just about a half can. I am also going to now add, um, I'm going to say about a cup of just plain unseasoned tomato sauce and make sure that it's not pasta sauce because it's just not the same thing. You're going to end up having your soup come out kind of tasting like pasta, which is not soup. So I feel like that was self-explanatory. Plain tomato sauce, one cup, put that in. Everything is stir and then we're going to just let it simmer for about five minutes there so that all the flavors can come together. We are now going to put our soup into our blender. I have a high powered blender. However, you do not need one. You can put this in a food processor. We also have one of those like magic bullet things that you can use as well. So you can do it in batches. If you even want it, you can use an immersion blender, but I am preferring um, to use my high powered blender. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, put your soup on, blend it for, um, I'm mean, like, I don't, I don't know. However long you want to blend it for, I'm gonna go for like three minutes on the highest setting. Do it. All right, so it's been about three minutes and I am stopping this. We're gonna add this back to our pot and put it on low heat. my blender because I've spent more money on that thing than I probably will spend on anything in my entire life. Anyway, I am making half a grilled cheese sandwich because um, you can't have tomato soup without a grilled cheese. While our grilled cheese is cooking away over here, um, I have tried our soup. And I think I'm going to add a little, probably the rest of the coconut milk. Um, and a pinch of sugar, like a brown sugar. Um, so do that, I didn't list it above. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon to start and then we're gonna work our way from there. And I'm taking this time to add more time. And just like that, we are done our recipe for today. Let's plate it up and we shall taste it. Mm. All right, you guys, we are finished with this uh, recipe for today and um, let's get into the taste test. Basically the best part of the whole thing. I have our soup here. It is literally the creamiest, velvety tomato soup that ever existed, honestly. Um, so, like, I don't know if you can like see how creamy it is by like, like, like that shit's creamy. Anyway, so let's get to trying it because um, I know it's good because it's my recipe, but like you need to know it's good. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna hate editing this because I hate when people eat soup. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? Um Anyway, yeah, this is so good. You can add, oh, I have grilled cheese. Wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This tastes like my childhood lunches on like a rainy Wednesday, um, but like leveled up. Am I eating this with my pinky up? Who oh, am I? guys that is it for the video today I really hope you enjoyed it um, I really hope you make this recipe like do it please and if you do let me know in the comment section below or tag me on Instagram my handle is <laughs> self-promotion at brew Alexandra and then the number eight same as my channel um, let me know if you make any of my recipes because it would warm my freaking heart um, I know that somebody made my ratatouille recipe um, so like sick like that is so cool um, let me know yeah the soup is hearty it's light it's 
good in the spring or in the winter, on a rainy day, on a sunny day. Honestly, like, depends on how you jazz it up. Freaking make the soup. It's so easy and so quick. And I've got a huge pot there. Like, I'm gonna have this for the next, like, few days. So, like, awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out here. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every Saturday. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, happy spring, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next week. Cheers.